international student teams competing in a timed challenge. CGTN's Nitsa Soledad Perez has more. Supercomputers are part of our daily life. It is the most powerful system on the planet at the time. Supercomputer is a very large machine that can uh, solve the, some of the world's largest problems. We use supercomputers for all kinds of amazing things, from the design of like Pringles cans uh, and Pringles chips to uh, simulating the climate and weather. More than 13,000 people from dozens of countries gathered in the city of Dallas, Texas for SE18, a supercomputing conference. The international event is an opportunity to showcase the latest in high-performance computing, networking and storage, and how it all leads to advances in science, education and commerce. 276 of these clusters make the fastest computer on Earth. Her name is Summit, and it's built by IBM. So far, the U.S. is in the lead, but that can change any minute. China had the fastest computer for several years. Here at the conference, they call it the rivalry. Twice a year, there's an organization called the Top 500 list that ranks from 1 to 500, the largest computers in the world. China has been on top of that list for the last four or so years. In June, the United States reclaimed the lead uh, in the number one spot with a very large machine at uh, Oak Ridge National Laboratory. At this conference, the United States had the number one and number two machines. China has a number three and four machines. There's also a chance for the younger brains to compete. 15 teams of college students from around the world had to build a supercomputer or cluster in 48 hours. And who was the winner this time? Tsinghua University, China. I'm pretty happy here to win the prize. We were going to build up a cluster in 48 hours and use the cluster to complete several different tasks. Um, we have machine learning and we also have simulation on physics and uh, uh, geometry. Innovation was in every corner of this exhibition. This is not a chandelier. It's a quantum computer. The promise of a system that can solve the unsolvable. Everybody, for example, is looking for you know, the cure to cancer or the cure to some disease. And I think uh, computers, because they can simulate systems in a lot of detail, um, and they just get faster and faster every year, and now we have these new technologies that are emerging, like quantum computing, uh, there's the potential that they will contribute to a major breakthrough. Science at its best. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Dallas, Texas.